right, so I got this carburetor, but when I put it down on here, it's too close to these hoses. Heater hose. So I need to get a spacer. Uh, I went down to AutoZone and got my carburetor spacer. This thing comes with two gaskets. It's got a perforated line. If you want to go with the with the open one if you want to go with the open one or stay with this one I'm gonna stay with this one because my intake already has that and it said that this this is better for low end to mid-range because it gives more velocity and this is better for uh, high RPM because it gives you more air. It also gives you longer studs to make up for the space. Alright, take these studs out. ones in come with their own nuts and washers too so A gasket spacer gasket uh oh enough all right so these were too short so I found some all thread it's an inch longer with this same bolt pattern that screws down into the intake so I found that and some nuts I must steal the washers so let me take this off. Ow. So yeah, not only was it hitting on this hose, the linkage itself was hitting right here. It's hitting right there. When I tightened it down, it was hitting right there. So that's not good. Take that off. Everything's getting real hot to the touch. It's awesome. I'm gonna take them studs out. Studs out. New stud. It's better have them a little long than too short. You can always trim them down. So I want to try to. I'm trying to keep this spacer in here. I'm well. I need it anyway because the linkage is too shallow. But uh, yeah. Oh, this one just keeps going and going. What the heck? That's weird. I'm back that one now. All right, new spacer, don't need that. I'll put the V towards the back, because why not? Huh. Directional, that's good to know. Hmm. 
that might cause me an issue down the road. Take my new coarse thread nuts. See them on there. Now everything clears. I'm not sure the air cleaner is gonna clear with the hood. That might be about as far as I'm gonna be able to get today because I need this fitting. It's one of these. I need this fitting because my current fuel line does not have that fitting. And uh, yeah. So yeah, there we are. Carburetors in, I'm gonna tighten these down. These are half inch. Uh, everything clears now. Full range on the throttle. Plenty of room for everything. Um, I'll check the hood closure. See what happens here. Put the air cleaner back on. Hopefully the hood closes. We'll see right now. Hood closes. Perfect. Well, I uh, got the carburetor and I got to get those, those fancy fittings for the fuel line, so. Maybe I'll go get them right now, I don't know. We'll see. If if this video is longer, then, then I wouldn't have got it. <laughs> I went down to my local Napa. And, and they had fitting for my fuel line and this is like hydraulic hose uh, this, I mean this is um, fuel injection high pressure hose and this is like a hydraulic fitting that he crimped on he didn't have any of this uh, you know specialized stuff but it's gonna fit it's gonna tighten up It's got the um, the cup for this, the cups this end, so it should be good. All right, so I put this on and I close the lid. Well, even with those two spacers, it clears. I was surprised, but it clears. So, all right, now I put this all back together. Man, I might have gotten too much hose here. I'm gonna have to cut it down. In fact, I know I'm gonna have to cut it down. All right, let's put this back in. Oh, don't forget my little filter came out of there. Yeah. This Oh man, I gotta cut a bunch of this off. You know, I didn't think I would be a fan of the hood opening like that, but it's actually kind of cool. <clears throat> All right, so cutters let's see here uh, probably right there just like that hose clamp Let's 
slide over the end. This is, even though it costs like 25 bucks for that hose and this fitting, I'm hoping this is gonna be temporary, so. Tighten these down. Two corners. Now I'm not 100% on this carburetor either. I bought it from a swap meet. I don't even know if it's gonna be a good one. I'm hoping. I got, you know. But we'll see. I can get on the other side and beat my eyeballs on that one. I don't know. What to I'm sure there's torque specs for this too. I don't know what they are. I'm just gonna feel it like that's good. <clears throat> the rod back up. There we go. A little quick fix there. Take that little bend out of it. Another hose clamp. Could steal this and put it somewhere else. <laughs> Again, this is. I just want to get it off the trail. I want it under its own power, moving around. It's been on the trailer for a few weeks. That must have been for vacuum advance. That looks like it would be for a vacuum advance. This is not a vacuum advance distributor. Nope. I smell gas. fuel somewhere no it's water there's water Fuel now. Let's try it again. <laughs> well, got got it. Started up. Half a second. You really got a bad leak going on here. What is the deal? Water pump? I don't want to 
get in and push the gas pedal if I can. <laughs> First time getting in the seat, actually. Ow. fit that's a good thing the power seats don't work the linkage came off pinche hmm. probably gonna have to go to something different it's not working out if you don't want to play right I'm gonna have to go to something different Looks like I got plenty of options. I got something big here, something here, something, all this. Get in there, you sucker. Linkage, linkage didn't come off, probably would've got it. Probably would've got it. Let's see, how do I get, how do I get in this thing? One leg, sit. Yeah, okay. Easy, easy on the pedal. what this is supposed to be because the radio is supposed to go here this looks like this has been blocked off maybe it wasn't a high-end model or something but yeah I gotta redo the dash get a new cover I think I may have flooded it right now so nice small steering wheel for the physically Larger people. <laughs> Sludge shit out of it. Oh, I don't. Yeah? Oh, no blinker. I guess I got tail lights. I don't have headlights, but I got tail lights. Might be out of gas. I'm guessing I might I'm probably out of gas. <sighs> oh, looks like you're staying on the trailer tonight, bud. Yeah, but I fit. I wonder what's underneath this. These switches, none of these switches work. This was on. The heater was on.
cool spot to work. <laughs> yeah.